Have you ever stopped to think about how electricity actually gets from the power lines outside into the light bulb above your head? It's something most of us take for granted. You flip a switch and the light comes on. You plug in your phone and it charges. Simple, right? But behind that simplicity is an entire hidden system of wires, connections, and safety measures that make it all possible. Today, we're diving into the world of electrical wiring, what it is, how it works, and why it's one of the most important parts of modern life, right here on History of Simple Things. Think about the walls around you. Inside them are veins and arteries, not for blood, but for electricity. These wires are what carry energy from your breaker box to every outlet, switch, and appliance. Without them, your home would be dark, silent, and lifeless. What's fascinating is that wiring often goes unnoticed. We only think about it when something goes wrong, like when a breaker trips or an outlet stops working. But in reality, Wiring is working for us every second of the day. It's what keeps your fridge cold, your fan spinning, and your Wi-Fi router online. So, what is electrical wiring? At its core, electrical wiring is just a network of conductors, usually copper or aluminum, covered with insulation. These wires carry electrical current safely to where it's needed. Different types of wires are used depending on their purpose. Some are thicker to handle heavier loads, some are flexible for appliances, and others are designed to resist heat or moisture. If you peel back the layers, you'll typically find a few main components. There's the live wire, sometimes called hot, which carries electricity from the source. There's the neutral wire, which completes the circuit back to the power source. And there's the ground wire, which is like a safety escape route for electricity if something goes wrong. Together, these three form the backbone of safe electrical systems. One of the easiest ways electricians identify wires is through color coding. In many places, black or red wires are hot, white wires are neutral, and green or bare wires are ground. This system reduces confusion and prevents mistakes. Imagine trying to wire a whole house without colors. It would be a nightmare of guesswork. Of course, codes can vary by country, so electricians always follow local regulations. But the principle remains the same. Colors make wiring safer and easier to understand. Now let's talk about where it all starts inside your home. The breaker box. Also known as the distribution panel, this is the brain of your electrical system. Power comes from the utility lines outside, flows into your main panel, and then gets divided into smaller circuits. Each circuit powers a different part of your home. Maybe one for the kitchen outlets, one for the lights, another for heavy appliances like the air conditioner. And if something goes wrong, say a toaster overheats, the breaker will trip, cutting off power before things get dangerous. It's like a built-in bodyguard for your wiring system. Not all wires are created equal. The thickness of a wire, called its gauge, determines how much current it can handle safely. For example, the wire that powers your bedroom light doesn't need to be as thick as the one feeding your electric oven. If a wire is too thin for the amount of current flowing through it, it can overheat, and that's a serious fire risk. That's why electricians carefully choose wire sizes for each circuit. It's a balance of efficiency, safety, and code requirements. So how do these wires actually make their way through your home? When a house is being built, Electricians run wires through wooden studs, across ceilings, and behind walls before the drywall goes up. They secure them with staples, route them through protective conduits if needed, and connect them to outlets, switches, and fixtures. Once everything is in place, 
It's inspected to ensure it meets electrical codes. These codes aren't just rules on paper. They're life-saving guidelines that prevent accidents and ensure your wiring system lasts for decades. When you look at an outlet on the wall, it seems so simple. But behind that little plastic cover is a carefully connected system. Outlets are where wiring meets the devices we use. Switches, on the other hand, act like traffic controllers, allowing us to start or stop the flow of electricity to a light or appliance. Fixtures, like lights and fans, are the end users, turning electrical energy into light or motion. The beauty of it all is how seamlessly it works together. The system is designed so anyone, even a child, can safely flip a switch without worrying about the complexity behind it. Electrical wiring has evolved tremendously. Decades ago, homes used knob and tube wiring, which looks almost ancient by today's standards. Later, aluminum wiring became common, but it had its own safety issues. Today, copper remains the gold standard with modern insulation materials that resist heat, moisture, and wear. If there's one golden rule about electrical wiring, it's this. Safety always comes first. Electricity is incredibly useful, but it can also be dangerous if mishandled. That's why only trained professionals should handle major wiring projects. Simple mistakes, like connecting wires improperly using the wrong gauge or failing to ground a system, can lead to shocks, fires, or equipment damage. That's why electricians spend years training and why building codes are so strict. They're not there to make life difficult. They're there to protect lives. Even though wiring is hidden, there are clues when something's wrong. Flickering lights, Outlets that feel warm, frequently tripping breakers, or a faint burning smell. These are all red flags. If you notice them, it's not something to ignore. Calling a licensed electrician can prevent a small issue from becoming a major hazard. It's also interesting to note that wiring isn't the same everywhere. In North America, most homes use 120 volts, while many other countries use 220 to 240 volts. That means the wiring, outlets, and even appliances are designed differently. Travelers often notice this when they need adapters for their devices. But for electricians, it means wiring systems must be designed to match regional standards and safety codes. So, whether you're a homeowner, a curious learner, or someone who just likes to understand how things work, remember this. Wiring isn't just about electricity. It's about safety, design, progress, and possibility. And that's the story of electrical wiring, our hidden lifeline to modern living. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.